Hello folks, Joe with Smoking Joe's Play Barbecue. Today I'm going to be smoking up some salmon on my Gateway Drum Smoker, so stay tuned. Hello guys, Joe with Smoking Joe's Play Barbecue here. All right guys, welcome back. So I've got a three and a half pound salmon fillet here and I will be cutting this into smaller portions to fit on some cedar planks that I have here. Uh, these cedar planks have been uh, sitting in water for about an hour now, just in a little Tupperware bowl. Um, I covered them completely all the way to the top and then put the lid and took the air out of the uh, Tupperware so it's nice and airtight. That way every ounce of the cedar plank is getting covered in water or soaked in water I should say. So real simple process guys, get a really sharp knife and I'm going to cut this uh, salmon down into smaller portions. So this is a very small portion but I'm going to try to save it. And this salmon, um, they did remove the skin off the bottom which I wasn't too happy with but we're going to make this work. So there we go. I'm going to try to keep them all the same size and um, the reason you want to do that is because you want them all to cook and come off at the same time. So we'll see how many fillets we can get out of this or how many portions I should say. And this is fresh never frozen salmon so anytime that you can get fresh salmon I highly recommend it. This one I'm going to keep around this size because it is, it is a little bit smaller so we're going to keep it like that. So what I got here again is my, my cedar planks and again they, they have been soaking in water as I mentioned. So I'm probably going to be able to fit maybe two in the cedar plank. So I've got some um, Victory Lane barbecue rubs here and I'm just going to pick up the, since there's no skin on the bottom I'm going to put a little bit of the garlic jalapeno seasonal all around it. Get the sides, get the bottom, just like that. Then I'm using the nutty pecan from Victory Lane Barbecue as well, just a light coating. Get the sides. This has a really good nutty flavor to it and a little bit of sweet as well. And then the third rub that I'm going to use is the sweet peach barbecue rub again from Victory Lane Barbecue. Just like this. Get the sides, get the bottom of it, just like that. So real simple. Get it nice and covered. And then at this point I'm going to try to again put two on, on a cedar plank see if I can get them to fit. Yeah, I think I can get it to work. I'm also going to put a couple of lemon wedges just on the top, maybe off to the side. And I've got some rosemary. So real simple process guys. I'm going to get the rest of these uh, fixed up and ready for the smoker and I'll bring you guys back so stay tuned. Alright guys we are outside and I want to show you the salmon and it's sweating out with the rubs that I put on there and um, I mean that already looks good it's not even cooked so we're gonna go ahead and place these in my drum smoker I've got the temperature right at 300 degrees so I'm gonna try to organize I've got four planks in here so there's one look at how pretty that is whoo man there's two and I've got about half a basket of um, lump charcoal. There's a third one and I did drop some uh, mesquite chunks in there as well. So I actually put extra mesquite just so, so it gives the salmon a nice flavor. So that's how I have them positioned in my drum. I uh, hope you guys can make that out. There we go. Um, that's how they're positioned in the drum and I expect this to take maybe 25-30 minutes tops. I'm going to go ahead and cover my drum and I will be checking the internal temperature 
in about 20 minutes and I'm looking for 145 degrees. Um, on this cook I do not have the deflector plate in there because I want these planks to get nice and hot and uh, again give me that extra smoke so we'll see you guys in 20 minutes stay tuned. Alright folks we are at the 40 minute mark and I want to get a temperature on the salmon here there we go and see what we're sitting at here 139 141, 150, Yeah, so I'm going to give this a couple more minutes, guys, and I'll pull them out, and I'll uh, give it the old taste test, so stay tuned. All right, guys, we are back, and the salmon is ready. The total cook time was 45 minutes on my gateway drum smoker, and because of the sugar content that's inside the rubs, it's not a whole lot of sugar. It created a nice uh, crust on the outside of it, which I really like, and it smells amazing, guys. Um, we're going to give this a taste test. Do not throw your cedar planks away. Uh, just wash them really good. Don't use any detergents on them, but uh, they, can, they can be reused, so um, just scrub them really good and, and save them for later. But check this out, guys. Look at that. It smells amazing. We're going to give this a taste test. Got a little bit of jasmine rice and some asparagus as well, but uh, I want to give this salmon a try. Now I'm kind of happy that the skin was not on the bottom because I was able to put rub on the bottom as well. So, cheers guys. Nice and hot. Mmm. Wow. Man, that's good. You guys like salmon? This is a trifecta on rubs. You got to use that Victory Lane barbecue rubs. It's got a little bit of sweet at the top of the salmon, then a little bit of heat at the end. Nothing, nothing too, nothing too hot, but just a great overall flavor. The smell from the rosemary and the lemons on top of the salmon. Man, if I could bottle this stuff up, I'd wear it as cologne. It smells amazing. My whole backyard smelled really good while the salmon was cooking. So really pleased with the results. Give this a shot, guys. Hope you guys like this. Um, thanks for tuning in. Until next time, oh, hit the subscribe button as well. Give me a like if you like this kind of content. Until next time, Joe is smoking Joe's Pit Barbecue. See you guys.